Initially, I was going to make a large video on this man until I realised that there were other things that I needed to do. For example, MD Pope 3, which I'm currently working on, and I'll do that another day. For now, there's one particular thing that I'd like to talk about. So this particular thing was actually suggested to me through my Discord server, links below, by a friend of mine named Equarep, or Equarep, probably pronounced that wrong, I do apologise. Now when you think about music, you tend not to think about strange, disturbing, or even illegal. This is the album Pleasure Escape by John Duncan. This is an album that was released in 1980, featuring things such as Jonestown recordings, hardcore pornography, and necrophilia. And yes, I know what you're thinking, it doesn't sound like much of an album, but let me explain it. The album features two tracks, Blind Date and Move Forward. We can talk about both of these tracks in finer detail. So let's start with the album overall, and basically what it is, because I've given next to nothing. The album features a cover of a black and white woman's torso and breasts. I won't show it here, though this can be found on YouTube. So if you do want to listen to them beforehand, then the links will be below, and you can listen to them before we talk about them. And one more thing, if you do decide to listen to them, I'd highly recommend listening to them with headphones. So let's begin with track 1, Blind Date. Now I'd call this one the tamer one from where I am, but that's just my opinion. And if you didn't take yourself through the whole 15 minutes of this track, then that's completely understandable. The only noises you can really hear on this track is a lot of shuffling like a plastic bag is being moved around by someone, as well as wood being sawn. Now there's not much to pick out about this track, but the fact that Duncan points out that he's having sexual intercourse with a dead body within this track, it sort of sticks in your head for the remainder of the recording. And there are a couple of key moments within this which are indeed a little disturbing. For example, the sound of Duncan moaning, as well as sounds escaping from the mouth of the dead woman. And this is basically air escaping from her body, causing her to make these sounds. And this whole 15 minute track of just these sounds were actually shown at a concert. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about the first track. Uh, now not much happens, but when some sounds do happen, it's very hard not to picture the current scene. And it's also rumoured that this track, or this whole album rather, is fake as Duncan portrays it as, well, an art project. The story being that he's due to get a vasectomy and wants to spend his last potent seed in a dead body. And the strangest part about this particular track is that either Duncan is a fantastic actor or he genuinely genuinely showed a recording of him having sex with a dead body at a concert, a public one. And the second track really is the reason I wanted to make this video personally. The whole track is 23 minutes long and if you want to go and listen to that you can take a guess, or you probably already know what this track includes if you've done a little bit of research. But if not, then I've done that and I listened to the whole thing for 23 minutes. Now, the first part is somewhat easier to listen to, I suppose. It's sort of nuclear prep stuff and war stuff, all that kind of related content. Well, apparently there's some Jonestown incident audio there as well, which that's a situation that I'd quite like to talk about in a video one day. But the part that really got me in this track was, it started a few minutes in, when some distorted male moaning began. It starts off very quiet at first, almost like a low breathing, 
effect. And I just thought, you know, I can deal with that. Hmm. I wasn't ready for what I was about to take myself through at 8am on a Saturday morning. I just, I wasn't ready. The morning progressed louder, which eventually turned into a scream. Now this whole section is meant to be based around hardcore pornography, but Jesus Christ. I just had breakfast then, by the way. I'd just finished my nest quick, and I was not ready to throw that back up. So I felt a little bit queasy throughout most of this track. So in essence, this whole album, 40 minutes long by the way, you're essentially listening to a man having sex with a dead body, the Jonestown incident, and a male man moaning for the best part of 20 minutes. Loudly. Yeah. Now, while the content of the second track is in fact much tamer, I mean, you know, it's not necrophilia, at least. Featuring, of course, real true crime audio and hardcore pornography sounds. I do feel like it does make you feel a little bit uneasy in the stomach more than the first track does. Especially if it catches you off guard early on a Saturday morning. And there are actually some reviews and comments about this album, so it's it's not massively niche or anything like that. Um, and I'd quite like to show you some of those comments because some of them are quite funny, uh, some of them are a little weird. And I am going to block out the names of the people who have commented as well, obviously. And we'll just have a quick look at some of these informative and not so informative reviews before I leave you today. You've got some reviews in which some people have typed a literal essay. We're not going to read those out, but if you want to read them, pause the video and uh, they'll be up on the screen. And then you've got this wonderful review which says, Bro, sex. And then you've got some reviews which say things like, Not even good necrophilia. Yeah, and the comments are even a little weirder than the reviews themselves. For example, Pussy had me dead, and that's on there probably like three or four times. What does this album even accomplish apart from making yourself look like an asshole? And he cast away the veil of toxic masculinity. You know, dudes be raping corpses and shit. So as you can see, some very informative and not so informative comments on this uh, on this website yeah it's a, a music rating site by the way so this is on music sites as an album an actual album but anyway guys if you would still like to listen to these two tracks even after you've listened to me talk about them then go ahead there's no stopping you they'll be linked in the comments I'm sure they're probably age restricted as well, I'm not sure, uh, so yeah, links below. Please wear headphones and stay safe guys, bye.